Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 1st, 2024. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Happy Canada Day to all of my Canadian viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, some large plasma filaments dancing around the surface and looping in between sunspot regions. Amazing images here. Looking at the last 24 or 48 hours incoming. Some notable plasma filaments on the left-hand side and as well all of those huge loops standing probably 20 Earths tall. Amazing imagery here. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing large plasma filament eruption that was Earth facing, but more in a southward motion. And we do have some solar storms on their way and as well one M class solar flare. Quick look here at the last 48 hours pointing out all the activity and as well the notable plasma filament regions. But there's a particular region in the southwest that I'm keeping an eye on. Two plasma filaments in a triangulated position. And as well, just recently, M-class solar flare from AR3730 sunspot region. Looking at multi-spectrum here, just some amazing images of our sun the last two days. Coronal hole regions building in the north and equatorial regions in between the plasma filaments so a pretty dynamic sun right now for solar cycle 25 so many sunspots we've got 13 that are earth facing right now Yesterday we had 15, and here are our sunspot regions. Look at these sunspot regions in motion. Some time-lapse imagery. Current space weather conditions. We are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts. High, higher frequency radio blackouts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 429 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing here. M2.7 class solar flare. So moderate solar flare coming from our sun today. Geomagnetic activity crawling down to a KP1. or NOAA Space Prediction Center here showing the space weather spirals updated. As we do have multiple storms on their way. Expected impacts starting on July 1st, which is tonight and will be occurring for the next two to three days. So most likely tomorrow night and into the day after, there will be more visibility for the northern lights and auroras through the northern hemisphere. A lot of these storms are coming in a southward fashion, though, ducking under Earth, so there may be a stronger chance in the southern hemisphere. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral here, showing most recent CME taking off not in an Earth-directed fashion. Showing here the last 48 hours of energy taking off from our sun. And with detailed imagery and updated imagery with yesterday's CME, was a full halo CME as all of the coronasphere was affected, as you can see with Alaska 3. Now let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours. As yesterday we did record this very deep earthquake, Marianas Trench, 600 kilometer depth. The deep earthquakes continue. Kurilask, Russia, 4.4 just recently. All the activity coming back to the Philippines plate and through Indonesia. Notable activity here, Bellany Islands region south of New Zealand. 5.1 magnitude and a 4.6. Things have quieted down in Hawaii since yesterday. No longer looking at 200 earthquakes across the island. North American plate, notable earthquake here, 3.1. Little America, Wyoming. And that is 
northwest of Yellowstone. USGS reporting here 258 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, down from the over 370 yesterday. And most of the activity was here on the Hawaiian Island. As you can see, definitely quieted down since yesterday, but notable just recent 2.0 magnitude right in the summit caldera of Kilauea. So possible swarm may come back to the region. Overlooking United States, California here, increasing seismicity, but minor at best. Yorba Linda, California. And as well up into Ridgecrest. All minor activity. Notable up west coast here towards St. Helens and as well Mount Rainier. Washington, a couple explosions being reported. Even as far south down into Oregon. Drain, Oregon, 1.6 magnitude explosion. Most times they do list them as quarry blasts if they are quarry blasts. I'm still curious about these explosions along the west coast. The tremors continue upwards of over 12,000 in a seven-day period. Now let's get back to earthquakes here. South American plate, Peru with a 4.2. Atacama, Chile, 4.5. Still pretty quiet for the East Pacific plate and South America. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers across the globe. Largest being the 7.2 in Peru yes, or two days ago. Other than that, all the activity coming back to the west ring of fire and increased seismicity from Hawaii up into Alaska and the notable deep earthquakes. All of the elevated rings showing the depth. We've seen some deep ones and not much happening across the rest of the Pacific right now. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at latest satellite imagery of Hurricane Barrel. Now a Category 4 hurricane yet again. Packing winds of upwards 220 kilometers per hour. Well-defined eye. Kind of disorganized overnight last night, but it regained its strength today. Heading across Grenada today. Just missing Kingstown. Parts of the eye made landfall in St. George's. But this, this thing is going to be tracking straight west through the Caribbean, traveling at about 20 kilometers an hour. As you can see, this is moving pretty quick. Hurricane Barrel barreling through the central Atlantic right now. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody that was affected overnight with the landfall of Barrel through the Caribbean islands and as well parts of Trinidad and Tobago. Amazing satellite images here of now our third. Well, this was the second hurricane of Atlantic hurricane season 2024. Tropical Storm Chris was the third. Waiting for the next one. And it is following in behind. Let's have a look at forecast models for Hurricane Barrel. As it looks like it heads northward towards Santo Domingo. Domingo. And then straight across Jamaica as quite possibly a Category 2 hurricane. Long-range forecast here for Wednesday into Thursday, making landfall Guatemala. And then back into the Gulf of Mexico before it starts making landfall in Mexico. So very long trek, lots of moisture, and a very large in size hurricane already. The first three were all very large in size. Let's have a look at a weather forecast here for Canada and the United States. Watch for extreme weather to break out across the Canadian prairies and into northern Ontario. All through the central United States this week, pop-up thunderstorms. Big low-pressure system moving in for the long range. And that will bring some extreme weather and wild weather for Ontario. But most of the moisture staying east. And through central Canadian prairies, the west is very dry. So thoughts and prayers again going 
out to everybody affected by Hurricane Barrel. Right now in the long range forecast, no major typhoons or cyclones here forecast, but still some pretty strong s- systems trekking through Japan and the West Pacific. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please leave a like. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.